some of you may be thinking about your New Year's resolutions. Well, it's the right time to pause and take a look at 2020 before thinking about what we want to do during this new year. And maybe get your feedback. What would you like to see here? That, my friends, is my New Year's resolution. Hey, I'm Nicolas Février, a technical marketing engineer in Cisco, and I'm mostly working on a CS5500. But in the past, I handled other high-end routers like CRS or SR9K. I'm slowly moving now to the 8000 series, but the NCS5500 family occupies most of my time, and that reflects on my videos and blog posts. Today, I quickly summarize what we did in 2020, and then I'll do a quick overview of the topics we would like to cover in 2021. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Keep New Year's resolutions. <laughs> you can use the shortcuts in the description to directly move to this second part if you prefer. With a couple of my colleagues, we are also publishing on a website, xrdogs.io. And in 2020, we were lucky to welcome several new writers on board. These videos and blog posts are meant to give a different perspective than what you can find on the official CCO website. Solutions, end-to-end -end configurations, real-life examples, introduction of new products and software release. 2020 was a special year, and I'm sure you noticed that yourself. If you compare to 2019, where we published nine articles and nine videos, we increased the production to 17 XR Docs posts and 13 YouTube videos. And that's just for the NCS 5500. That's easily explained by the pandemic. Less time traveling the world, remote and virtual conferences, so more time home. Also, we have more writers in a team and people contacted us directly with new ideas. That's a great trend, and as much as I hope an improvement on the pandemic side, I think we should be able to produce even more content in 2021. Let's have a quick look at the publication of 2020. Uh, Happy New Year. Did you make any resolutions? I was asking the audience, or did you give that up? I, for I, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> did you ever used to make resolutions? Yeah. We started with a video named NCS 5500 for the Confused an answer to the most common questions on the platform, like port types, features availability, routing scale. Tejas published a series of posts describing access lists in a lot of details, and he is now starting the same on LPTS. Bilal completed the series on eVPN with two new articles on multi-homing and another one on L3 VPN interworking. We created a very long post on hardware profiles and another one specifically on the decommissioning of the internet optimized mode. Also, we completed the lab series with new tests like 400 gigabit ethernet performance, FIB scale routing, reaching 4 million prefixes, chassis commons redundancy, you know, route processors, fabric cards, fan trays. But we also asked a CX specialist, Benoit, to detail the methodology he used to migrate a system and prepare it to 400 gigabit Ethernet line cards. 400 gigi was also detailed by Vincent in a very complete article. He also posted on MacSec technology this year. With Mike, we talked about scripting and how we convert flow spec rules into access list. Jakub presented a very entertaining SRV6 interrupt demo controlled by voice, and we posted the Cisco Live deep dive on NCS 5500. I reviewed my internet size projections and how the different products will handle this growth. Finally, we started a new series when XR721 was released. A dozen of my colleagues helped presenting the various features and innovations brought with this new version. A very busy year, right? And actually, we think we could do even more for 2021. You know what my new resolution is? We would love to know. Well, it's an intention, not a commitment, right? First, we will continue working on the new XR releases series. We have version 7.2.2 and 7.3.1 coming in the first quarter of the calendar year. And then we plan 7.4.1 for the summertime. What we've done for 7.2.1 received quite a lot of positive feedback. It seems you like this original way to present the new features. Even if it represents a crazy amount of work, we will try to continue the series. We'll also create specific content to introduce new hardware, new LAN cards based on Jericho Plus and Jericho 2, and new fixed systems, pizza boxes, also powered by Jericho 2 and Jericho 2C. 
and 2021 will be a very prolific year from a product perspective. How the new line cards interoperate with the first generations, also how it scales from a routing table perspective will be addressed in multiple articles and demos. There are four different topics we wanted to cover for a very long time. Each one will be a new series. Number one, forwarding chain and resources. In this very long series of posts, we'll cover different data paths and services, how to troubleshoot them, and how the internal databases, memories, are used. Here again, it represents a tremendous amount of work, so we'll cut it in many small pieces. Number two, load balancing. How the packets are forwarded among multiple links, parallel, in case of ECMP and link bundling. Also, how it can be tweaked with different profiles and monitored. Number three, quality of service. We started explaining the buffering mechanisms 18 months ago, but it's time to get back on the topic and cover classification, policing, shaping, queuing, remarking, double read the methodology to convert an SR9K configuration into an NCS 5500 QoS configuration is very high in the priority list. Number four, multicast. Layer two, layer three, ASM, SSM, snooping, interdomain, V4, V6, MVPN profiles, tree seed, etc. Here again, it's a very, very long series. And the list is not exhaustive. For example, we plan to record a couple of demos to wrap up on the access list, and we will continue the one on service activation that we started in 2020. It's time to make resolutions, but sticking with them can be a challenge. A 2018 study found only 6% of Americans fully stuck to their resolutions. That's a lot, and I don't fool myself here. We know it will be challenging, but let's aim high and try to produce as much as we possibly can. Now we are doing all these efforts for our customers and final users. So your opinion is of the highest importance. Please let us know in the comments below what we missed and what should be prioritized based on your needs and experience. Thanks and Happy New Year.